Welcome back to News at Noon on ABC 36 News Now. Welcome back. Our financial guru, Brad Hacker, is back with more timely tips on how you can improve your credit. Now, Brad, your credit is so important in today's age, especially when it comes to buying cars, houses. You've brought us some important tips today, so yeah. go ahead and get started. Yeah. Let us know. Well, the number one thing is just simply we always want to pay our, our bills on time every time. 35% mm -hmm. uh, of our credit score, Jane, is actually just paying your bills on time. So it's always good to just make sure that you're keeping track of everything, Try not to have too many accounts so it's not hard to manage and make sure you pay pay everything on time. That That is the biggest thing. Absolutely. And what's the one of the biggest mistakes you see people make when it comes to credit? Yeah, a lot of times it's just credit utilization. And so what that means is, is, is that you have a credit limit and you've got it charged up pretty much either maxed out or pretty close to it. And that's the second biggest impact on your credit is just simply that utilization percentage. The credit bureaus don't really necessarily read what you owe. It reads what you owe as a percentage of the limit, so you always want to try to keep those those utilizations down to about 30% of whatever your limit is to maximize your credit score. Okay, yeah, and when people are looking to maybe buy a home, what mm -hmm. is the number one tip you give them? Yeah, you always want, when you get into that mode, you're going to buy a home, you want to say, okay, let's make sure before we talk to a mortgage professional, let's make sure that our bills are paid down, mm -hmm. get those balances down, so that way we can have the maximum credit score, and we want to make sure that we've reviewed it ahead of time. Um, third tip is probably, you most people don't know you actually through the government get a free copy of your credit report every year you oh. can go to annualcreditreport.com and get a copy of that credit report and make sure there isn't any errors on the credit report statistically uh, FICO recently put out a survey that said that about 70 percent of credit reports actually have some kind of error on them so you want to preview that credit report and make sure there's not something on there that shouldn't be on there okay yeah and say you're someone like me who doesn't really <laughs> know how to read a credit report yeah. where do you even start with that yeah you just want to look at it again look for was there is there something on there that I don't recognize a lot of times like for example uh, a, a type of collection a lot of times these medical mm -hmm. collection companies you go to the doctor you never got a bill and now all of a sudden there's like a little $30 collection on your credit for the copay that you didn't pay so uh, just making sure that there's not errors on there making sure the history is reporting correctly that it's not showing that you were late when you really wouldn't making sure your address histories are correct and all those types of things yeah absolutely and you know with this coming of age of digital yeah. and everything going digital I know yeah. there's websites like credit karma and other yeah. things what do you think about those websites are they reliable to check your credit score? yeah and so with sites like credit karma or my FICO or things like that the the credit scores aren't necessarily always terribly accurate because they are consumer scores they're geared toward giving you a car loan or a credit card or something like that whereas a mortgage company will most likely pull a different credit score because if I'm going to grade you I'm going to grade you differently for a $20,000 car loan versus a $200,000 mortgage mm -hmm. so but those those sites like a credit karma like a my FICO they're great for just keeping an eye on your credit and making sure that things aren't on there that shouldn't be on there yeah and keeping track of all your credit scores along with bills and everything else yeah. going on in life that's a lot do it you is. have organizational tips for people yeah a lot of times you can just there's a lot of great apps that are out there that they can manage their finances uh, with uh, you know Dave Ramsey's organization you mentioned Dave yes, earlier yeah. has, has one called every dollar uh, I'm older so I've just got a good old-fashioned spreadsheet that yes. we keep track of our <laughs> our stuff on but it, it's just a good idea to, to just try to manage that okay great and last question what's your credit score I'm just kidding. <laughs> he's not gonna share yeah, that with yeah, us don't yeah, worry guys yeah. it's, not it's, it's okay it's, it's okay <laughs> I do all right <laughs> yeah, you're giving other people advice we gotta yeah, check yeah, and yeah, make it's okay. sure it's okay. well thanks for joining us here on the show I really appreciate no, great it great to be with you Jane yeah, thank you absolutely. so much and make sure y'all stick with us right. more good news at noon coming up next